If the capsule is properly placed, and I'm going to tell you guys, make, make sure that there is 30 seconds of no movement before you push that plunger, okay? That right there is the number one determinant of a good attachment. If they do that right, the capsule will be very unlikely to come off prematurely. So those of you okay. that are in the room with the doctor when he's doing the procedure, if you see him move at all while you're doing that 30 second count or the patient moves or coughs, if there is any movement at all, just restart your account. Because that tissue is being sucked in that tiny little chamber and if he moves, the patient it gets moves, they cough, it gets pulled back out again so it may not get a good... What about when they have the hiccups? Because yeah. the Then you got the end of the You want you no wait. movement yeah, for 30 seconds. seconds. And yeah. sometimes it means giving them a little more brucet. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people will give them a little more medicine right before they do it because they want everybody to be still. Right. And it's really also important for us to at higher altitudes because it doesn't go up as quite mm -hmm. as far. Yeah. Most of my physicians and, and nurses wait more like 45 seconds. Yeah. Just so you know. Yeah. <laughs> Although, of course, there you need to be careful because you, you have even more time that they have to lie still. Mm -hmm. so, so just be aware of that. But that is the number one factor, and it's so easy to solve, to solve because if, if, they, if, they don't, if they do move, it simply means you need to just start your count again, which is no big deal. Because originally when Medtronic rolled out Bravo, they trained everybody, and then they didn't have any support in the field. So they would do something like this, and then for two or three years, people were well, using the, the product and there was no retraining. Of, the the well. main problem was that we would train a physician and then that physician would train another physician. Mm -hmm. and it's like the telephone. They don't mm -hmm. know to emphasize right. the small right. points that we know are right. important. Exactly. And it wasn't once the product was rolled out, you did, there wasn't any retraining when you figured out some of the nuances. Mm -hmm. So one of the pieces that you may see come up is, is when Stans was showing you that, um, how the procedure is done. is the relaxed angle. Did she show you that where you just kind of want this? You may see, I haven't seen him do it, but he may have it like this. There may be some tweaking with the wires which can cause it to misfire. Mm -hmm. So I am going to go over that, but you mm -hmm. may not be aware of it. So you may see that, so I'll also use you guys to kind of say, hey, they made some improvements, it works a little better like this, relaxed angle. Mm -hmm. okay. oh, and that could have caused some of the misfirings that yeah, I heard and, about it. And I don't teach relaxed angle, I teach it's got to be straight. Yeah, because what's a relaxed angle? Well, to me, you just don't want to talk. Yeah, to you. But no, you do want to talk. You want it straight. Because but you don't want to be pulling on it at all because then you can be tweaking it. You want it and nice and straight. Um, a relaxed angle to one person is this. To another person, it's that. Sure. It's just too non-specific. They need to hold it nice and straight between the mouth and the delivery system. Okay. Nothing Keep like your this. Head out there. He was on. Hey, doc. Are you seeing a patient? Well, no. Hey, when you, will you have a few, Bravo? will you have a few moments with us later to sure, for yeah. us to go over this mm -hmm. with you? Let's just do it. Okay. Change. Yeah. We do well, right now. Oh, I yeah, just well, want to well, see when you hold it. Will you show me how you hold it? Do you okay. normally have it kind of up like this, or do you have it out to the side? I think once that's in there, just just like this. Okay. Yeah. So it, essentially, they they now want you to do it straight, like so. You would have it straight. Yeah, and of like course that, just so this isn't twisted up like oh, that. Oh, right, right. And it shows so in the video yeah. like that. So they just made some improvements. So hold to that, it. Just hold it nice and straight. Straight. And hold it against the bite block, not in front of the bite block. And uh, something you may not have learned, and if you you can't see it here, but this is an old delivery system, which is probably what you learned on. Old delivery system doesn't have I any do. feedback lines on it. Okay, so we taught everybody push, right, and, and then turn. Right. And this one 